Hi, I'm Nassim Ali Khani. Today I'm serving Taste of Iran. I am from Iran. I grew up in Iran. Been cooking since as a 10 year old next to my mother and grandmother and all the women in my life. What we have offered and what I grew up with is just so complex and amazing, but at the same time reachable. Look at the ingredients we have here. We have carrots, potatoes, meat, onion. People don't know about Persian food. They don't know even much about us as people. To me, food is an amazing vehicle or vessel to just before any of these conversation, let's just have a bite together. Let's taste each other's food. Okay, I'm making a kufte, which is a meatball. We call it kufte gelgeli. It's a dish I grew up on. My mother made it. I'm using a mix of lamb and beef. You can use all lamb, you could use all beef. I put my onion first before I start adding everything else. I want my onion to be mixed in. I have chickpea flour here salt, pepper, and turmeric. I like to add my chickpea flour at the end when my meat is already mixed in well. So you can just put everything. Hold on for the chickpeas. If you want all to be uniform texture, it's supposed to be comforting, it's soft, delicate, light. In Iran, for all our binding agents, we use chickpea flour. I just love chickpeas. I use it in so many things. You'll find it in many Iranian recipes. So I guess the meatballs are ready at this point. You just shape them, work them to the size of a walnut. My daughter, to this day, she thinks my mom's meatballs are tastier than mine, and I have to agree with her. There is something in her hands. Hers is amazing. This is not only my kids' favorite dish, also their friends. Every time they were coming for a sleepover, they wanted this meatball. The reason I chose this dish to do it here, it just has all the Iranian uh, elements of cooking. It's simple, it's wholesome, it's highly aromatic, complex, but at the end when you eat it, it's just so satisfying. It just like fills up, fills up your whole soul. This is the last meatball. I guess I'm ready to make the sauce and cook the meatballs. I start with a lot more onion than common sense permits to an average audience. By cooking them down and sweating the onion, it gives I'll basically allow the sweetness and the flavor to come out. And as the color changes, also the smell changes. And once you get that rawness of onion out, your dish is ready. I add the turmeric. You work it and you smell it. From a typical turmeric scent, you get this naughty, very, very aromatic. If you want to basically describe Iranian cooking, you would say A, aromatic, B, is sour. There is a hint of sourness that comes from lemon juice, sour grape, sour pomegranate juice. I can go on and on and on. Okay, uh, yeah, the water is boiling. The meatballs go in. grapes in so many ways. We start by using the leaves. We turn it into stuffed grape wine and it's just amazing. We also cut some of these early and we either freeze them or we pickle them. And these are the pickled version. And then we continue on when they become raisins and we use them as a raisin too. This dish is ready. You can go and walk your dog and do whatever you want to do. Come back in 40 minutes. Iran is a vast land with uh, different climates, and that brings so many variation to our cuisine, that even if I want to just cook my regional food, it's so different than the north and then the south. So this is what I like to, to educate people, and my menu in the restaurant represents that. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, it looks amazing. Smells heavenly. And you want this to be a thick, a rich sauce. Really nice. I'm gonna add saffron water. 
you don't have to if you don't. This dish has so much going on, so much aroma. This just adds it, makes it a little fancy. You don't have to. It is expensive and not everybody in Iran is using saffron so liberally. My mother is not happy about my amount of saffron I use in everything. No Iranian meal is complete without having a big, massive plate of herbs. Mint, tarragon, basil, chives. I love cilantro, edible flowers. You just bring aroma and freshness to your plate. It's really a be visually beautiful, but it also really enhances. I love these sour grapes, so I always steal some for me, and I put it on top of the rice. Okay. Mm. This is so good. To me, this is not just a complete meal. It's home. It's my country, it's my mother, it's me, and hopefully the next generation. This is an opportunity as a chef, as a mother, and as an Iranian-American to educate people about our food and hopefully towards our culture. Thank you so much for watching. For more recipes like this, subscribe to Food Network.